Well, greetings. Welcome to the channel that was TFI. It is now Tech 3D. I know. So I did tease this a few times in the past. I said I was going to be renaming and rebranding the channel. I done done it. This is not a, hey, I expect everyone to care kind of a video. No, this is just to let you know so you don't see a random channel appear in your sub speed and you go, mate, I didn't subscribe to that guy. Who's this guy? YouTube dumping channels on people again like they did with that chick called Janelle. You remember that last I lived in a van? And she went from like nothing to two million subs in a week because YouTube would up to all kinds of shenanigans. No, no, it's just so you, you don't look at a random channel and you think, I don't know who that guy is. Viewing's optional. All I want to do is just let you know why I've done this what it means and let you know some future plans because I'm just, I'm doubling up the rebrand with the future plans just to sort of tie them in together. So TFI, truth be told, the name TFI didn't ever mean anything. <laughs> as much as I kind of coincidentally meant it to be mean technology for industry, it didn't. TFI was actually lifted from an old TV show called TFI Friday. Don't know if anyone remembers that in the UK. It was a really, it was actually, a, it was a good show. It was a, like a, a Friday sort of comedy skit show. It was just on at the time where I was going through the last rebrand and it never meant anything. But having said that, the name TFI, my channel got very well known within the containerized bubble niche that is the Autodesk space. And I'm very, very proud of that. But as I've moved and transitioned away from just being in that niche, the name TFI is sort of the last fragment of that era. And that wouldn't matter if it wasn't for the fact that the name doesn't stand for anything. It doesn't represent anything. And I'm starting to see that kind of hold me back a little bit. Now, you can't put too much thought into these things. There are channels out there who don't need that. They've already established their growth with names that are just the person's name. You know, the channels that are named after the creator. There's channels that are, that are just random names that mean nothing. But these guys have experienced sort of their lucky breaks, viral videos, or they've been around for so long, they've just had organic, explosive growth. I've not been fortunate enough to experience that. So I need pretty much all the help I can get. You know, when I'm party to emails from PR agencies and marketing agencies referring me to other agencies and they're, they're saying, hey, there's this exciting channel called TFI, it always needs an explanation afterwards because TFI doesn't mean anything. It doesn't represent or explain what the channel is or even what industry or sector it's in. If the video's in a feed with a tile with a name underneath it and people are looking through, the, the name doesn't let people know what the channel is. If I'm out and about talking to people, hey, what do you do? Oh, I, I do a bit of YouTube. Oh, what's the channel called? TFI. Great story, bro. What does that, what's that do? Eh, you know what I mean? It's, it always needs an explanation. So I feel like this is just an all the help I can get kind of a step. So the, the word tech, it's self-explanatory. It's the, the workstations, the laptops, technology for the people who work from home, work in offices, and that covers that aspect of it. And then the 3D was the bit that I was sort of humming and hawing over what to put there. But that I felt was a good place to land on because it gives me a lot of flexibility. It's a nod to the fact that it's a professional channel and it's software based. So 3D covers all the Autodesk stuff. It allows me to, the flexibility to still cover Inventor if I want to, the rendering stuff, VRED, but branch out into other stuff if I want to. Uh, you could say, well, 3D is also gaming. <laughs> sure, I don't know, whatever I want to. Whatever I want to do, I can do. It's just the flexibility. But ultimately Tech 3D, it lets people know what the channel is or gives them a, a good idea. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. I'm sad and in a way, it was a big decision. As much as the channel isn't very big at the moment, I'm aware that it's in a niche. I've put an awful lot of work into this channel over the years. And I've said this a lot of times, I, I need to see more results from it and I need to keep making changes to try and push it forward. Uh, I'm, I'm just acutely aware of stagnation and I need to make changes to try and just give it the nudge forward. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And speaking of moving forwards, there's quite a few collaborations coming up. There's a few projects that I've been working on which are gonna to come to fruition. The one coming up the quickest is next week. So you're gonna see a release of a few videos all in one hit on AMD's Radeon Pro Render for Inventor. There's a good chance you've never heard of this. And it is actually, it's very exciting. It's a new GPU ray tracer for Autodesk Inventor. I think the first of its kind. So it's a plugin, it's a free plugin for Autodesk Inventor. Click of a button, it's going to export your model out of Inventor into a GPU ray tracing engine. 
yeah, it's hardware agnostic as well. So you don't need an AMG GPU, it'll work on any GPU. I'm gonna release another video closer at the time alongside a, a series of five tutorials on how it works. But all I'll say at the moment is it's early days. It's not necessarily finished yet. There's a lot of work to do, but the good thing is that AMD separate to YouTube have consulted me to work with their dev team to make it better. So that's something I've been working on and I'm still working on and will work with them for on for the for foreseeable, I think. Got a number of other collaborations as well with AMD on their hardware, so videos on that coming up uh, and also more stuff with Dell. Now the channel at the moment does feel a bit like the Dell channel, but that's just because I'm limited with brands. I have had relationships with Asus, MSI, but it's just the way things are, uh, the brands just tend to come and go and I've not been able to kind of maintain relationships that just don't respond to emails and building new relationships and kind of getting samples ain't easy. So I'm still trying to build those relationships and maintain them. And that's something I'm trying to kind of assist with this channel rebrand. So I'm acutely aware that there's a lot of Dell stuff. That's not because I only like Dell. That's just because I don't have any contacts at HP or Lenovo or any other brands. You know, I've tried and if they want to send stuff, I'll I'll use it. It's just I, I can't get the contacts. That's what I'm working on. And that's what the rebrand is all about. It's just a platform into that, hopefully. So thanks again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying till the end. Uh, it's an exciting new start for me. It won't mean much to you. Nothing really is going to change. It's just a rebrand. But same old goofy me. New camera lens. <laughs> new perspective. Uh, same goofy me making videos uh, after my day job. Uh, editing late at night when I'm sick of my life. <laughs> but maybe sometime that'll change. Who knows. But thanks again. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.